Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Simza. So I'm out here with Savannah, I'm trying to adjust this thing a little bit. I'm out here with Savannah and we're about to get some gardening done and I wanted to show you guys what what we're doing today. Batista's mad because Preacher's out here and he's he would rather be out here. And also this is a subscriber t-shirt, thought I'd share that I'm wearing it. Thank you. Alrighty, so I'll show you guys what I've done. So. What? Who duct tapes their pool? What do you mean, where? Oh, like on the sides? So I've seen those installed, and apparently that's actually like what they do. Yeah. Oddly enough, yeah, it's weird. But I think it's because the liner... Like this is the liner, and so the liner would have would have would have prevented that. Like what you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't have seen it. Do you think though that like I said, if we took up all the liner in here, threw it out, and took that whatever that is, I don't think that's a liner. That looks like a looks like an inflatable pool. <laughs> Are you asking if we could do it ourselves? No, not. Then I'm just talking about if we can clean this whole thing out, as in like like all these plants and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like kill all that, like rake it out with that rake. No, that'd be that'd be pointless. Yeah, but you'd get. A, they wouldn't have to do it. You know what I mean? If they didn't have to do it, you'd no, because they're gonna fill all. The, they have to. They have to basically resurface all this. This so. Yeah, but they would. They wouldn't have to like worry about all the plants. So listen, stuff. it would listen. This is what they have to do. You see how there's all these big rocks and how how uneven it all is and all that stuff mm -hmm. and how it's caved in and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So all that has to be redug out. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have to come in here with a machine. Yes, and they're going to have to redig all this out or even by hand maybe. And they're going to have and then they're going to put down sand. How do you look at quotes? For it? Um, although some people don't do sand, some people do like it's like Bobby, a it's like Bobby a cement sand. rubber. Bobby did sand on the bottom of their pool, but there's above ground. Yeah. So like so he, there's two ways for these with liner pools. You either do sand or you do this this compound that they put at the bottom. The what compound? It it's it, it, no, it's like a no cuz you won't Cause you won't, I'm pretty sure the liner goes on the bottom too. Do you see what I'm saying? So then the water, so the liner sits on top of all of this. What? No, that was a cement pool. That was a cement pool. Um, I, through the research I've done, there's pros and cons for both. Um, ultimately, ultimately I feel like from what I've read that a liner pool is a little bit easier it, because it's cheaper. So like the cement pool lasts longer, but when it fails, it's much more expensive to fix than a liner pool. When a liner pool fails, if, if this had been maintained, that liner is only like 3,500 bucks. Oh. Yeah. So, so, oh, so this has been, well, this is a problem because they let it go too far. So like, we're going to actually have to have people come in and they're going to have to get up they're gonna have to put they're they have these to, machines they put in or whatever and it pumps cement in. They're gonna have to do this too, these in here. Yeah, okay. so they're so we're they're gonna have to basically fix what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. But um But if but let me just say this. If it had been maintained, it wouldn't be that expensive to fix just a liner. You see what I'm saying? This is a bigger problem because they just let it go. Are they gonna have to replace all the yeah, yeah, all that stuff, yeah. Uh, I bet you. I bet you they do. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So, this is what we're doing. We've got our soil and we've got our pots. And I'm going to I'm going to keep these so there's the 1 2 3 and then we'll have a 4 here. What? Headless, board. headless board. I said boy. Headless boy. Oh, uh, that's probably a good idea. The headless boy probably shouldn't be here. Is he riding on something? Yeah. Was it like some kind of sea creature? Yeah, it looks like a, like a fish or something. Interesting. He's a headless boy. Interesting boy. Or a headless boy riding on a fish. And then we had one that was fishing in the front. There's like a fishing boy in the front, you know? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder why he's headless. Who's what he's about to say? I don't know. So I did get all that stuff to the dump. Really happy about that. Are you getting rid of that? Um, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It's coming over here a little bit. It is coming over here a little bit. 
We'll see what I'm going to do with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we just need to get all the weeds out. And, um... Yep. Yep, very good. So I got the plants to put in here. I'm, you guys, I'm just so excited. It's going to be so pretty. Obviously, this is a this is a not um, pretty thing. But we're going to do what we can. You know what I mean? We're going to do what we can. What? Uh... Yeah, I gotta figure that out. Cause remember, it's a hot mess. Those are crepe myrtles, and I don't even like them. Oh, that would be a good idea to do hydrangeas. Although that might be too sunny for them. Yeah, there's although there are some that you can. Yeah, but only under the tree though, cause like cause over more than it's just sun. So we'll have to see. I I I I like the idea. I do, but we'll have to see. Um, okay, so there's the soil we picked up yesterday, and here's all the flowers we picked up yesterday, which we really need to start actually bringing them in because some of these, some of these are not for, um, for the sun. Some of them go in the front. So these are going to go in here. Mm, mm. I just like one of the things that I really love about being here is all the flowers and stuff the stuff that you can grow here is just really super fantastic and um and Reese and I we went to the mall when I first moved here back in the summer and um I think this one might go yeah that one goes in the front the one you're holding uh up top um <clears throat> so anyway we went to the mall and they had all these hanging flower pots and oh my god the flowers were beautiful and i was just like i was just like you know what i want those flowers all right you know i could also record this for school and be like look we planted plants if we planted plants Oh no, this pot is crushed at the bottom. <gasps> Both of them are new. Oh. Those are unusable. No. Oh yeah. Thoroughly unsteady. Dad gummit. <laughs> Well, I gotta get some pots for those. Batista, ain't nobody talking to you, my man. You, ain't nobody talking to you. We love you, though. All right. Oh my gosh, breaking through, though. That's so sad. We yeah. You. Well, this house is like old. old. Yeah. How long do you think these have been here? All this stuff. Too long? Huh? Even though they're all both cracked right there. That's so sad. I hope this thing doesn't. Yeah, this house is almost 40 years old. Well, You're a pretty man, older. preacher. You're pretty man. We're not calling people that are 40 old. Okay. I'm, I, I mean, Savannah, I'm literally almost 40. No. Let's just be honest. No. <sighs> we're all, we're all older than someone. All right. Except for the oldest person on earth. That's the one person that can say, no one's older than me. <clears throat> okay. Oh God, here we go. <sighs> Dad gummit, that sucks. Well, guess it's all right. This one go in the front too. Which one? Yes. Yeah, that's a okay. shade plant. Yeah, I'm about to have this place popping, y'all. I. If you thought what I did with my last house was nice, when it comes to all the flowers and stuff. You ain't seen nothing yet, because this place I'm going to have popping. There's just way too much possibilities here. Oh, you see that picture? There's a bird, yeah. I think this one is a sun. Yeah, no, full sun, yeah, full sun. So we'll do this one over here for now until I get some more pots. There we go. What's up, chicken? Chick, 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 ch
I'm not worried about him. I'm not worried about any of them now. They've all settled down um, off of it. You know what? <clears throat> I I um, I don't I don't like to hear about anyone losing animals, but another YouTuber that has a farm one of his um livestock guardians he's got great uh no i don't think he's got great pyramid i think he's got marama sheep dogs they're italian they're basically the italian great pyrenees um i probably pronounced it wrong <clears throat> but anyway he's got some of those and one of them a young one killed a chicken and um and i just thought it was just so because i had so many people um, who criticized for that and they didn't realize that um, unfortunately that's just that's just dogs I mean dogs are capable of doing that and it really doesn't matter what breed they are even livestock guardians and I'd even I've said that before that even livestock guardians will make that mistake sometimes when they don't know any better and when they're learning and um, sure enough happened to him and uh, Anyway, it, and, it, and it, it happened like right after it happened to me and I just thought that was, it was, um, for me personally, it was just, I, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to say, I don't want to be contrived as saying that I'm glad it happened. I, all I can say is I'm just, it was just, a, it was just a moment where it was just kind of like, okay, like, you know, um, you know, it just, what I already knew, which is that yes, this happens, but not just that, but that people are just unreasonable. And sometimes it helps to have that confirmed through life, through experience, you know what I mean? To have the what the, the way that you thought of something or your approach to something whenever you see that, that it is true, that it is accurate, which is, you know, obviously what I already knew, but nonetheless, to, for it to be in the same space as me on YouTube, it was, I think, um, I just, I just think that it was, very, it was a, it was a interesting um, event. Is all I could say. So anyway, so I'm gonna let y'all go for now. I'll finish this back up once we've done what we're gonna do. Hope you guys are having a good day, and I will, um, I'll talk at you in a second. Hey, you guys, it's Rachel here with Life of Senza. So this is what we did today. We've got all these flowers planted <sighs> that's some work you guys as you can see the sun is going down and um and i just some look worse than others um they're really pretty and then i don't want to go that way I think there's a wasp nest under that pool or under that slide so then also what I did is I've started started working on the front mm -mm -mm. you guys will get to see this gorgeous bush I was gonna cut this thing down because recent I didn't know what it was and um, thank God I didn't because look at the color I know I need to get the house power washed. We're going to do that. <sighs> but, um, look at this gorgeous bush. Is this not ridiculous? Holy cow. It's not very pretty looking through the rest of the season. Um, it's actually pretty sparse, but this is fantastic. Okay. <sighs> so... As you can see, I've begun over here. This, this hosta here was already planted and it's coming up. And this hosta was already planted and is coming up. I've planted this and this. This hosta was already here and is coming up. I keep trying to uncover it. I'm going to need to cut it a little bit more. And this, I don't know what that is, but it's coming back. Um, this rose bush. Um, has already been here. I thought about pulling it up originally, but now I'm just going to leave it. Um, so, cause it's actually gets pretty sunny on this side, uh, like right, just this corner right here. 
the rest of these are all shade plants so um definitely not done by any stretch but i want to head to lowe's and get some more um, plants for this area because i need to um as you can see like because of the shade cloth i'm gonna need to cover that and so i really need to have all the plants for this area ready to go so that I can cover it up and then be done with it. <clears throat> so I'm really excited about it. Very, very, very excited about it. And um, I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys are too. It's gonna be really pretty, pretty soon. So anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. Got a infamous sweet tea and about to go to Lowe's and get some more plantas. More plantas, as they say. Um, so look how beautiful everything is here golly it's just gorgeous so anyway trying to make it as beautiful as possible along this whole tree line or this whole fence line here um, i'm thinking about planting um i'm thinking about planting um hydrangeas along this whole thing um because i think it'll just be really pretty so Oh, this tea is fantastic. Um, anyway, all right. Well, y'all have a good day. This is uh, Rachel signing out. Bye.